This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a probability problem. The formula for probability, the T, is the number of success cases over the number of total cases. Now, we're given a set of numbers, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers in it. So we know that our probability of success is going to be the number of success cases over 7. What remains is calculating the number of success cases. And we need to know, to do that, we need to know which of those numbers in, in that set also meet the following given criteria. And that is 2x plus 5 is greater than negative 1, and x plus 8 is less than 12. Now, when faced with an inequality, remember that a helpful technique is often to simply treat it like an equation. In this case, I'm going to solve for x with both of these. So let's subtract 5 from both sides in the first, first equation, and we'll end up with 2x is greater than negative 6. Then let's divide both sides by 2 to get x is greater than negative 3. And let's do the same thing to the other equation. We have subtract 8 from both sides. And what we'll end up with is x is less than 4. So let's go back. Now we have two sets of criteria that we can use to filter our set. Let's go to our set and make sure um, that the numbers that we're counting in our success cases meet both criteria. So 10 is not greater than negative 3. Neither is 5. Um, 1, 0, and 3 make the cut. 6 is not less than 4. And neither is 11. So there are actually three success cases, negative 1, 0, and 3, which we can plug in to our probability formula. So our probability is three success cases over seven possible cases, which is your answer. See.